note to self when uh, priming and gluing make sure you don't knock the glue and the primer over in your driveway I'm not sure if that's gonna come up so anyway underneath here uh, we do have all the plumbing done now for the underside all the drainage so that's uh, the one there coming out of the black tank comes across back over and to the waste valve and out I also have here right above that and it's look where it comes out here Pew. a lot of primer I'm dripping down on that one but that one's uh, coming out of the floor drain in the bathroom so that's the shower drain coming over I've got this uh, isolation valve on here and the reason I did that if you remember I put the uh, gray water tank up top and so if we're not hooked up to full connection and you know if we don't have this uh, valve open uh, there would be water coming back into the shower pan so having this shut prevents that from coming back and then that pipe continues on over here that is uh, coming out of the gray water tank right there so normally that will just flow right down through here and on out so what a pain but uh, it's all in hopefully it's <laughs> leak free we'll see there's just another view of that whole system uh, from the outside too just so you can kind of see what's going on got a pretty good amount of clearance here um, I think I've got almost 12 inches of clearance off the ground here and it's pretty close to that back tire so the chance of catching that on a curb or anything are pretty pretty slim I've also got it tucked back in behind the tire too if you look here um, down this direction too, so that that helps you not hit curbs and things with it as often.